Hi guys, let's do the Lewis structure for sulfur tetrafluoride SF4. For doing that, let's go through its total number of valence electrons and for doing that, let's add up the number of valence electrons for both sulfur and fluorine atoms. Sulfur has 6 valence electrons whereas fluorine has 7 valence electrons but as we have 4 fluorine atoms, we'll multiply this number by 4 which will give us 28 valence electrons. In total, there are 34 valence electrons for SF4. For drawing the Lewis structure, let's put sulfur atom in the center as it is the least electronegative atom. Okay, once you have done that, put all four fluorine atoms around it like this. Now let's show bonds between fluorine and sulfur and each bond will take two valence electrons. In total, eight valence electrons will be used up out of 34. Put the remaining valence electrons around the atoms like this, 10, 12, 14, 32. But if you remember, there were 34 valence electrons. The other two valence electrons that are non-bonding will put that on sulfur because it can accommodate more than 8 electrons in its outer shell. To check if this structure is stable, let's calculate the formal charges on each atom in this molecule. So sulfur has 6 valence electrons out of which 2 are non-bonding electrons and 8 are bonding electrons, all right, which will give us the formal charge of 0. For fluorine, we have 7 valence electrons out of which 6 are non-bonding and 2 are bonding, which will give us the formal charge of 0. So as the charges on all atoms are 0, this is the most stable structure for sulfur tetrafluoride. To know more about its molecular geometry, polarity and other such properties, please check the link given in our description box. Thank you.